Hey guys, welcome to the Hardcore Fab channel. I'm Anthony Brauner. On today's video, we're doing something a little different than our norm. I'm going to be playing around with some tires. So, I had this bad boy out last weekend. You can see there's not much plastic left on it. She likes to party. So, uh, yeah, we had it out and only made it a couple hours and then got a big giant slit in this front tire. See right about in that area where the screwdrivers are at, you know, those aren't supposed to be there. <laughs> Anyways, kind of ruined the day because I didn't have a spare with me because it's actually the first time that I've cut a tire. And uh, yeah, so I want to try to see if there's any way that I can use some of this glue that I found and try to patch this spot right here and see if it would have been something that would have been viable to have with me on the trail to be able to fix a situation like this and not ruin my weekend. So we're gonna give it a shot today, see how it works. All right, so to show you guys kind of a little bit more of what we're dealing with here, this is my slice. I've got a screwdriver in here about as far as it goes on this side. There's a little bit farther it can go. Got this one slid over about as far as it goes. So we're looking at about two and three quarters inches that's actually opened up slice and then on this side there's probably another almost another inch where it's cut but not 100 percent through but definitely close to being 100 percent through so we need some glue on all of that and of course the whole entire slice so that's what i've got here to start with we're going to see if that works see if this works here this is uh, what i've got it's uh some 3m glue um p r one five zero zero i'll put a link to this in the description down below if you guys want to go find some of it and uh i guess that's only if it works so we're going to try it like i said and see i want to get some uh, carb cleaner kind of come in here and kind of clean some of that up real quick because it does have a little bit of dirt and stuff left in there from riding it off the trail flat go ahead and pry this up on the one side and hose it down And I'll fold it back the other way and hose down the other side. That cleans our mating surfaces up pretty decent. Give that a second to air dry out and then we'll go ahead and put some glue on here. All right, so while the tire is drying, I want to go ahead and show you guys this old Camaro here real quick. Train coming. But uh, just, a, just a salvage flip car that I got. You can see a little bit of damage right there and it ripped the bumper cover off. Not that big of a deal, but it also got into the wheel and tore up the tire. So I'm thinking if it works on the Razor tire, I'm gonna try it on here. Now, this tire is trashed and it definitely doesn't need to be on the road, so if it holds air we're gonna have to destroy it one way or another you know and i think the old ls in the front of this thing might do it so uh yeah let's see uh, what happens with that let me show you what this tire looks like real quick first so yeah this thing is trash you can see all the cords here on the sidewall and it's actually got a tire there's got to rip that direction as well so compound rip big giant chunk out of there if that holds air that'll be flat out amazing well, it all seems dry, so let's give her a shot. See what happens. Ooh, get her some. I would say I'm probably being pretty liberal with the glue. Let's spin her down here and put a little more in. Because you know, if a little's good, a lot's got to be better, right? Sit that up there. can actually push that together and have it all squish out so it's probably a good sign and actually part of that's already stuck I 
if I'd uh, realized I needed to do that in the first place, I would have probably got a clamp or something over here, but I had no idea. And of course, I'm the only one here, so I can't go get one. So I'm going to hold this here for a minute, and uh, I guess you guys can come back here when it's uh, dry enough I can let go. So it seemed dry enough I can let go for a second, so I went ahead and stepped away and got a clamp, and that's actually allowing me to squeeze out just a little bit more so I feel pretty good about that we'll see uh we'll see what happens Actually, all right it's been about 30 minutes and right here is our spot that we glued up and i think it felt like it was probably dry after about 10 minutes but i gave it about 30 just to make for sure everything seems pretty decent i can't uh i can't pull anything apart or anything like that so that's a good sign i'm curious now to throw some air in it and see what it does all right, let's see what we got here. I generally only put about uh, eight to 10 pounds in these tires on this thing. It lets them conform over the rocks pretty good. But uh, we might go ahead and pump it up a little more than that just to uh, make sure that it's holding and kind of show you guys what's going on here. I don't hear it instantly hissing out. This is leaking. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's another spot in my sidewall right there I didn't even know was tore up. Well, um, I do have my uh, soapy water here. Let's see if this is leaking first, I guess. Looks like I've got one little tiny spot here that's leaking. That sucks. Right at the end of that cut right there. Apparently I didn't get enough glue in it. Well, hmm. I guess I'll turn this around and try to glue this side up and see what happens there. I wonder how I cut a cut on this side and that side, both at the same time. That's crazy. All right. Good times. So I found the last little spot here that didn't get any glue in it. I'm going to go ahead and try to stick a little glue back in here first. end up on the end of my knife which is irritating but what am I gonna do right so there's that now I'll roll it around and do that side wall over here and we'll try again so it seemed like the carburetor cleaner was a good way to go on the other part there so Spray a little in here and clean this out. Let that dry and then we'll glue that part up too. So I've got some needle nose vice grip stuck on there and you see now that hole is actually big enough I can get the end of my finger in there. So pretty good size hole but I'm feeling pretty confident after seeing that top part over there not leaking. So. I'm going to give it a shot here with this glue, see where we end up. Uh, flip it around the other side. Got a little tab there to lift up on. I can put it around this whole other side here, maybe. Make sure and get all the way up into all the cracks this time, since I apparently didn't do that last time. Uh oh, my finger's stuck already. Stuff dries pretty quick. 
if I could see it. I don't think I can. Really small print on there. Probably tells me how long it takes to set up, but yeah, I might need new glasses. Well, I feel confident enough that uh, I think this might hold air that I'm going to go ahead and go and get that uh, Camaro tire off real quick and we'll see what happens with it. Well, I got this tire off and it is actually worse than it looked even on the car. So we got the big chunk there that I'm holding back. Then we got the slice right here going this direction as well. And then back here, it's also got another slice coming in this direction where it's starting to peel a chunk this way. So it's got a big enough hole there now where I can get two, three, a little bit of lube, I can get four fingers in her. Anyways, the uh, cords are all cut here on the sidewall. This tire is without a doubt totally trashed. So I don't want anybody thinking that this is something you could fix, even if this does hold air, which I'm still skeptical that this one will hold air. But uh, if it does, you guys shouldn't drive on something like this. This is definitely not a good scenario. So I'm not advocating that this is what you do to fix your jacked up trash tire. Just FYI. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean this one up and see what happens. So I think to be able to get this to work, I'm going to have to do this in a couple of different uh, sections here. I'll try to do this side slit first. It's probably going to be a total pain to try to hold this thing in the right spot. Got a clamp here ready to try to help. All right, so I was looking at it to see if there's any other spots that I hadn't seen yet that are maybe messed up, and I found one of these lugs that was just all but ripped off right here. So I thought, well, we're already wasting the evening playing with glue and old junk tires, so I might as well put a little glue on there and see how well it does on holding the whole entire lug back on there. So before I go ahead and glue it back on, I'm going to go ahead and mark it so I know exactly for sure which lug it was that I was playing with, and this looks like a good way to mark it. Now with those three little grooves on there, we're gonna know exactly for sure which lug it is that we need to be looking at, seeing if it holds up or not. I really don't have a good way to kind of hold all this stuff in place and uh, let it dry. I probably did put too much on there. Maybe, maybe more isn't better. I don't know, but uh, I feel like it needs to be held kind of close to the right orientation if it's going to have any chance of sealing back up. And I don't feel confident that I have it there. But for now, I'm going to have to just kind of hold my finger on here, I think, for a little bit and uh, kind of give it a chance to set up and. Cross my fingers, hope for the best. I mean, 
Worst case scenario, I'm out of junk tire. So, and we get a chance to kind of learn and see what happens. All right, let's try this again. See if we got any better luck this time. So according to the sidewall here, the maximum pressure you're supposed to be able to put in these tires are 24 pounds. So I've got 24 pounds in there right now. You guys can kind of see it on the gauge there. We're well over 20. So I think now I don't hear anything leaking out of it. I guess I can grab my little squirt ball here and find my cut. I look golden there. I don't have any air leaking at that spot. And then where was the slice then? It was down here somewhere. Right here. I don't see anything leaking out of the sidewall over here either. So that's freaking sweet. I'm, uh, I'm really excited about that because this is potentially my new trail fix if I am out on the trail and slid a tire. I'm gonna take and um, probably just leave it sitting here. It's too late now tonight to be able to get this thing out. But uh, tomorrow I got some stuff going on. So in two days, we'll come back to this. We'll look at it real quick. We'll see how much air is still in it. See if anything's leaked out of it. And uh, then we'll go run this thing around. Well guys, I'm back and it's still got air in it. So that's freaking awesome. I can't believe it that it's still holding. I figured it might blow out or something while I was gone, but it has not. So. That's pretty cool. Let's see uh, how much air is actually still left in there. Did lose a little bit of air. It's uh, still above 20, but um, it is definitely not where it was when I left it. So, uh, I don't know. I can't say for certain, but I'm going to guess that probably the glue is still holding good because I wasn't seeing any bubbles coming out of it. Actually, soap's still here. Let's just double check. I wasn't seeing any bubbles coming out of it before, so since there wasn't any coming out before, yeah, there's still nothing coming out. So there's probably a pretty good chance that I got some garbage down here in the beads when I drove this thing off the trail because I probably drove it half, three quarters of a mile in dirt and mud with it completely flat because I didn't have any other option at that point. So it probably has some trash in the bead. I probably need to bust that down and uh, clean that out and uh, go from there. And I guess if I go out here and run it around a little bit and it doesn't come back apart, then I might go ahead and do that and see how long this thing's gonna last. So that's, that's pretty exciting. That's uh, definitely a decent trail fix that can more than likely work, you know, throughout the weekend at least, if nothing else, uh, to get somebody by. So yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go out there and uh, tear this thing up a little bit and see, you know, just rolling around, make sure that it doesn't come apart. But uh, overall so far, um, I haven't taken the clamp off the other tire yet or put any air in it, all the one off the Camaro. So let's go ahead and do that real quick and see where we're at with that thing. I'm really curious to see if it's going to hold air. I don't know about this one. This might not work. Holy shit. I think it's actually holding there. I gotta go grab my soap. No way. 
Guys, there is not a single bubble coming out of this thing. Let me pull the camera over here so you can see. That is nuts. Just nuts. Nothing. Let's see how much air is in here before we get too excited. It's uh, about 25 pounds. Let's go ahead and put some more in there. Let's turn this away from my face. Just in case. This tire is good for 51 PSI. We're getting a little bit of a leakage going on around the bead right now, but the wheel has actually got a big giant chunk out of the wheel too. So I don't know if that's a tire problem or a wheel problem. That's 45. That's a little over 50, so I'm going to call it 53. There you go. And it's freaking holding. Although it's pretty scary looking because all those cords are broken there so there's a big giant bubble going on right over here let me uh, show you guys that real quick and then i think i'll probably let a little bit of this air pressure out you can see right through here there's a there's a bubble going on that's actually not where it was tore up it was actually ripped right here oh no wait a minute it was ripped there and there so yeah, right beside where it was ripped out, it's got a big bubble. The more pressure has seemed to actually take care of our bead issue over here, though. It's not leaking around the bead anymore. It's currently holding air, so yeah, that's, that's just crazy. I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and let a little bit of this out. I think generally, most of the time, car tires, you don't put over about 35 in them, so let a little out of it and get it back down maybe make that bubble a little less pronounced and then we'll put it back on the car and see if it'll uh, hold the weight of the car now I'm more curious about this one than I am the racer tire thirty five right on money couldn't have done that better if I tried Alrighty then, yeah, onward. All right, so to test the tire on this thing, I figured if we bounce over the curb a bunch of times here and then throw it into a real hard drift or something, I'll throw some side load on the thing and then uh, we'll just see what happens. I don't know, it's the best I can do here in Flatland, Kansas, so.
I got that on video. Well, that's about as much side load as I can put on it right there. I can't get any more than that. So I guess we'll flip it back over. We'll see if the darn thing's still holding there. It was fun for a second. So tire tested. We've got some uh, rockage here to prove it. Stuck in the tire. <laughs> some more over here. But I do not see any kind of leaks happening here. That's actually right on the spot where we need to see it. And then our other piece was kind of the opposite somewhere right here, I think. We've got a little bit of road rash here, but some of that was already there. It's not the first time it's been over on this side on asphalt. So a little more grindage happening here but all that'll buff off well i feel like that's a pretty good test right there on the old tire i think any more than that we need to actually go hit some rock somewhere and uh see what it'll do there it's about as much as i can do here in flatland kansas let's try out the camaro now that's why he's standing so far away afraid it's gonna pop when i let it down <laughs> it could well, it's a moment of truth here. It's got the weight of the car on it. You're good. Wait a minute. Pull back forward just a hair. That's good. Now back up. I'm not worried about you blowing up the motor. There you go. How is the tire holding up? The tire's holding up okay. okay. Let's see how long it takes to blow the tire up. <laughs> oh, if it's like a four or five thousand RPMs, that's nothing. You mean a GM window motor that doesn't work? Damn it! It's working <laughs> fine! That'll be alright. Everybody's already seen you anyways. Didn't blow. <laughs> yes, you can go park it now. Uh oh, it's making hissy noises. It's making hissy noises. <laughs> yeah, that one didn't look like it glued very good in the first place. Yeah, it's not long for this world for that's flat. Well, this isn't safe to send out to anybody anyway. <laughs> no, yeah, we, I've already said we're not going to send that out to somebody. <laughs> oh. We're probably going to have to replace the wheel, but too. But, yeah, that wheel's trash. So, anyway, but, oh, no. 
Not bad. Did you could you feel any difference while you were driving it? 